Hello folks, Cosmic Storm 300 here. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to fix your Minecraft launcher issues if you have any. Anyway, let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to go to this icon here. You go ahead and click it and you hit open file location. And then you right click that. Properties. You find this, and you see this right here. You copy that, and then you go ahead. I you go ahead and you copy this for exact word. I'll give you a few minutes. If you're on Windows 10, if you're on Windows 7 or 6, you'll have to move these to be right here and right there. I don't know why, it's because Windows 10 makes things easier, I guess. But, it's just a simple fix. All you have to do is put the quotations around the link if... But uh, what I'm doing is not opening the actual file, I'm telling it to open this. So, I would actually rather not go to open file location. I'd go to properties and I'd copy this one here that way it will open the shortcut file sorry I just woke up <laughs> and then once you get all this done you'll have to change your users so let's say you go here and let's go to desktop and you click this let's say here's this folder now you change the folder which tells you where you're at so now you know that this here is on the desktop so you, all you need to do is copy this, but change the ending to this ending. Meaning, like I have it here. Just change users, public, desktop, and leave that alone to the one that you copied. But not the whole thing either. So you don't need this whole thing. You just need this ending here, and then you need your location file of the desktop. And then once you get done, you go ahead and hit save as. And then you see all this, you go to here, go to all files, and then in this, you hit .cmd. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Give it a name, whatever you want. That's it. I already have it. Now what you do is you go ahead, you load this up, and if everything works right, your Minecraft launcher should actually open. And then you choose your settings and all that, and you have 60 seconds to fix it all up. It should be long enough to go to options and all that. And I want to play 1.12.12. .12. I click it. I hit play. I wait for it to do the done preparing. Then I hit 2. And what it will do is essentially close all the launchers it don't need. And then it will let you load. Now let's say you have to download something first. Download the actual um, Minecraft version that you want. Then that's a little bit tricky, but it's still pretty easy. Even on other computers it works. I'll show you. Okay, let's go ahead and load the launcher. 
without the actual command prompt. Then hit Control Alt Delete on your computer all at once. So hit Control and Alt, hold them down, and then at the end hit Delete at the same time with all the others. Then you go to Task Manager. And because I'm using Windows 10, I have to go to Details. And see what Minecraft's doing? It's loading three launchers. All three up. Just because it wants to do three different things that you don't even have in your settings. And it does it all the time. I don't know why. But all you have to do is end this one. Just end one. If it will let you, hit end process tree if it doesn't. Which is fine if it closes. Go ahead and reload it. See it needs those two there. Then you hit end task. It's not easy to fix. So it's the top one you want to end. Or watch the CPU. Whatever it's not actually using. I haven't done it in a while, so I apologize for this ending part here. Like I said, it isn't easy to download because what it's doing is it's basically Let's retry this. It might be wiser to, instead of end task, open this up. And go back to your task manager. And you find these. And then find the one that's running the most. Right click it. Set priority to high. And then you go ahead and you hit the play of the version you want, and it shouldn't crash. Mine won't, because I fixed all my issues. But, I hope this helps someone out there, and you all have a good day.